Hi, welcome to another St. Luke's cookery clip. Today we're going to make chicken and chorizo jambalaya. Um, it is really quick, really easy dish. Um, so what I've got is frying pan um, on the hob, about a tablespoon of olive oil. Um, by the way, this frying pan um, has a lid with it because we will need the, the lid later. Firstly, um, I have got two chicken breasts um, chopped up and I'm just going to cook that um, for about sort of six to eight minutes um, until it's golden brown and then I will see you in a minute. We have now cooked um, our chicken on the outside. I'm not cooking it all the way through to the middle um, because it's going to continue cooking later. We're just cooking the outside of the chicken so that you can't see any pink on the outside, okay? So once you've done that, we're just going to put that to one side. And I'll put it in here for a sec. And then what I'm going to do is um, cook our onion. So I've diced one onion and we're just going to let that cook um, for about a minute. Um, so yeah, we're just going to let um, our onion cook for about sort of four, five minutes-ish um, until they, they soften slightly. Just turn down the heat so they can just gently cook. So the onions have softened, so that's lovely. And then to my onions, I can add one sliced pepper, red pepper, in that goes. And then also, I'm going to add 75 grams of chorizo, chopped up, and two cloves of garlic. In that goes, like so. And I'm also going to add um, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. So, again, always put seasoning over the pan or bowl or whatever it is so that if it does go anywhere um, and falls off your spoon it doesn't really matter because it's just going to go in your dish anyway and then we're just going to um, cook that for about five minutes um, and let all those flavours infuse and also the oils from the chorizo will be released into your dish as well and the um, spices and flavourings from the chorizo will infuse into the peppers and onions um, as well. So as you can see, um, the lovely oils and flavours have been released from the chorizo and have infused everything else. You could, if you wanted to, add more, let's say, smoked paprika or cayenne pepper. Um, it's up to you, it's your dish. I know this uh, chorizo is quite hot and spicy. Um, so I'm not going to add any extras, but so it's up to you how much extra flavour you want to add to your dish. Now, to this, um, I'm going to put the chicken back in again. Chicken we cooked from earlier. And one can of uh, plum tomatoes, in that goes. Two hundred and fifty grams of rice, which is about the size of a mug full of rice. In that goes, and three hundred and fifty milliliters of chicken stock. In that goes. Stir that. And then we're going to give that a good stir. Around. I'm going to put the, the heat up now. Give that a good stir around for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to put the lid back on my pot and then I'm going to let it cook for about sort of 20, 25 minutes until the rice and the chicken is cooked through properly. See you then. It's been cooking for about 25 minutes now. Um, so as you can see, the water's been absorbed. The rice is nice and soft. Everything's cooked through. Perfect, so now I just need to serve it up. As you can see, um, it serves four, um, so I want you to enjoy and um, see you again soon.